Hello, hello everyone. It is Jackie from Pocket of Preschool and I am so excited. You guys are all here with me tonight or later if you guys are watching the replay. So tonight we are talking all about some fun letter activities you can do with your students to get them moving or add some sensory in. Um, just to kind of get you through the end of the year. And these are things to letter activities you will be able to do all year long. In the comments, I want you to tell me your favorite letter activity that you like to play or do with your students. Um, is it like a clip game? Is it a movement game? Is it, tell me all the things. Tell me your favorite alphabet or letter activity in the comments that is your go-to, your tried and true, your favorite or your student's favorite this year. And every year is different, right? So above, up in the top, in all the comments are these free letter cards. Um, so if you don't have any letter cards, you can grab some. There's a freebie, a link in the, in the top. There's uppercase, lowercase, and uppercase, lowercase. Those are up there. There's also links to all the things, my Amazon shop, my TPT store, my blog, everything. So all that's at the top. So again, tell me your favorite letter activity or alphabet activity in the comments, but we're gonna jump right in. So this letter activity, I actually learned from a teacher buddy um, one year when I was teaching for our professional development, we got to go observe each other's classrooms for like half a day. Um, and it was so much fun. I love going and watching um, my teacher buddies and you just learn so much because they have such awesome ideas. And you guys, those are things that actually are working in the classroom because you see them doing them. So this is one of Miss Cindy's ideas. So shout out to her because she is amazing. Um, so we um, also shared students um, she was a, um, a, special ed, a special ed teacher, and then I heard some of her kiddos came to me in the full day classroom um, later. So, anyways, we shared kids, so that's why I observed her class. Anyways, this is called letter musical chairs. So, what you're going to need for activity is whiteboards, letter cards, any kind. So, you can use like these are some from I got from a Kinder Crate, but they say or Oriental Trading on the back. These work. You can also use like magnet letters, like big ones. You can also use like regular magnet letters. Or you can use like a little printable letter card. Or you can use like themed one if you have like themed letter cards too. Like these are beach balls. So you could use anything like that that's related to your theme. It's basically any letter card or letter manipulative. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a magnet board or a whiteboard out in every seat, and then you're gonna put a letter card in the corner of the board, and you're gonna put it out a dry erase board marker, and I always make sure they're open for this activity. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have all the kids push in their chairs, and you can give everybody the same letter or different letters, but I'll tell you how this is gonna work in a minute. So they all push in their chairs, and then you play a song. And then when the music stops, they find the closest chair, they say the name of the letter, and I like these from Oriental to Training because they are like felt, so you can, they're like a textured letter card. Um, but again, if you wanna use just a magnet letter on the board, like that works too. Like you could totally just put the A in the corner and they can trace that too, it works just the same. And what they're gonna do is the music stops, they find their chair, and then they're gonna write the letter all over their board and then you're gonna say stop, erase. Oh, I forgot my eraser. Here's the sork. <laughs> and then they're gonna erase their board. And then they're gonna push in their chair. And then you're gonna do it again. So you play the music. When the music stops, just like musical chairs, they stop at a chair. And then maybe this time they're the letter, maybe they stop at the letter M. So they're gonna write the letter M all over their board. So it's a really fun way to practice writing letters. Now if you have a friend who is struggling writing letters, no worries. Just when they stop, just kind of go right in front of them, write a couple letters for them, and then they can trace them. No worries. Or maybe you see them struggling, say, oh, let me make one for you, and then you can trace it. No worries. Um, so, and then they, you say stop, and then they erase their board, and they push in their chairs, and everybody stands by their chairs, and then you play the music again, and then they walk around the, 
around the table, around the room, wherever. You can also put these on the floor and they can sit down and write too, whatever you wanna do. Um, but basically it's just like letter musical chairs. It's a really fun game. It gets them up and moving in between. It's a fun way to practice writing letters or letter formation. Or if you don't wanna use like a letter card, I like using a letter card just so there's that, um, that visual in the top corner. You can also like pick a letter card. So you play the music, everybody goes around and the music stops, they stop by, stop and sit by their board. And then you can say, okay, everybody, we're gonna write the letter C. Big curve around, big curve around. Okay, you try. And then maybe you're gonna write this in the corner of a few friends just as you kind of walk by. Or you're gonna write some on your friends' boards and they can trace them. And you're gonna give positive praise to their friends and you're gonna say, wow, I love your, you know, the way you write that, that lowercase C or you're a superstar handwriting friend. Um, whatever positive phrase you want to do. I can't think of anything good off the top of my head. <laughs> it's been a long day. So yeah, so you can do it either way. You can have the visual in the corner with, again, a any kind of magnet or any letter card you have, or you can just put magnet letters in the corner and they can write their letter. Again, letter musical chairs. It is so much fun. And you guys, they will ask you to play it again it is so so much fun so letter musical chairs is fun and again if you don't have a set of letter flashcards on the link at the top I give you a link and it has letter cards you can use for a ton of different things so grab that link at the top but so much fun letter musical chairs and you can also do that game with sight words with numbers um, or shapes. Um, like if you have, like these are some shape magnets from Target. They can, you can put this. My boards are not magnet. Oh, they are magnetic. Look at that. So you can put that in the corner, the shape, and then each board would have a different shape. And they walk around and they sit and they would draw that shape. So, what I do, whatever works for you. Shape musical chairs, letter musical chairs, number musical chairs whatever you want, sight word musical chairs. Again, so much fun. I always play like kids bop songs, so something that had like a really fun beat, something they like to sing to, so much fun. So that is one fun letter activity again you can do at the end of the year or anytime. The other one is called letter rescue. And I'm sure once I show this, you guys have probably done this one before. So I like to use these letter beads. They come in uppercase and they come in a lowercase. These, um, the set, um, I wanna say these are learning resources. Um, letter beads, again, uppercase, lowercase. They're my Amazon storefront. Um, Lakeshore also has them. So either set works. They're the same set, almost identical. But they're, they're supposedly like letter beads because they have a little hole so you can like lace them. But I just love to use them for like letter manipulatives. So. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a basket and then you're going to put a filler inside. I just use this cut up like gift wrap stuff from the Dollar Tree and then I put in, I put worms in mine <laughs> and then I hide the letter. So I made mine the same color. If you have a friend who is colorblind, you're going to want to put make them a different color so they're easier to find. Or maybe you have kiddos who need, maybe you wanna like, they need to see it better so you can put in like pink ones or something, whatever works. Now, if you don't have little wormies, just cut up some pipe cleaners and you can use those as worms. And then you're gonna just put some tape over the top. <laughs> so there, the letters are all kind of stuck inside. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna give your kids a pair of tweezers and they have to rescue all of the letters. Now, you can use a basket like this. You can use like a tray with a lip on it. You can use, you could even put them in a bucket like this and put tape on the top. You could put them in a bin like this and put tape on the top. Use whatever you have. You can use a laundry basket, whatever whatever works for you. Just use what you have on hand in your classroom. Um, I actually got these from Amazon a couple weeks ago. So. What they're gonna do is use these tweezers, which is some grapevine motor, and they're gonna rescue the worm 
but they're gonna also rescue the letter. And when they rescue the letter, you want them to say the letter name, the letter sound, or a word that begins with that letter. And so they're just basically a fun way to rescue the letters and they can rescue the little worms at the same time. Um, so just tape, a basket, and some, this paper um, stuff is really fun to grab at the Dollar Tree. Um, you can really put anything in there. Any kind of filler like that works. And then, um, if you don't want to use worms, I know we've probably all seen it with like bugs, but I always want to give you guys some other options. So you could also do, um, just like, you could, this is a basket I just got from the Dollar Tree a couple weeks ago. You can also just put pump, like put some of this, the, the green filler in there, like a whole bunch of it. And then you could put pom-poms in it and then they can rescue the pom-poms. Or, toss this over here, okay. Hold on one second. Or you could put like blue in here and then they could, and I have these little fish. You could, they could rescue the fish. Um, and then obviously you are going to put the letters in there with whatever filler you have. And then just cover it with some tape and then they can get them out. But you don't have to always do bugs is what I'm saying. But take an activity that we like, that the kids love, which is like a bug rescue or a worm rescue and just add letters. So. If you are struggling to find letter activities and it's the end of the year, think about what do your students like to do in your classroom? They like these rescue type activities or they maybe like a certain sensory activity or they maybe like a certain, I don't know, um, whole group activity. How can you add letters to it? So an easy way, if you have a sensory activity they love, maybe they love shaving cream, put these in it. Just throw some of these letter beads in there. And now you have a sensory and a fine motor and a letter activity or whatever activity is that you have in your classroom that your students love. You're just adding the letters to it. So that's a super fun one. And any tweezers work. These are like little hand tweezers. These are gator tweezers. These are learning resources. And again, do you, these are the um, uppercase beads. They also come lowercase beads. I just love these beads because you can also put them in shaving cream or in any kind of sensory thing and just like rinse them off under the sink. I always put them in a colander and then I rinse them off so they don't go down the drain. That is another fun activity you can do with letters. Oh, here's another one. So if you want to, if they love like water and ice, do you see where this is going? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a letter bead in each ice cube tray. And then you are going to fill it up with water. Oh, I forgot that one. You're gonna fill it up with water and then you can also add um, food coloring to it, like make it blue or make it green, or you can do a tray of green and a tray of blue. And then they have to try and melt the frozen letters in the ice. This one's really fun too, especially since it's gonna hopefully get warmer soon, even though I'm in a sweatshirt. I've just been so cold all day. <laughs> um, oh, and my sweatshirt's from Teach, Create, Motivate, I think um, somebody was asking earlier. Um, but yeah, so just put some letters in an ice cube tray, add some food coloring, fill it up with water, and then have them use droppers and salt, and they can try and rescue the letters. Now, they are gonna float to the top sometimes, um, but what you can do is just um, put a piece of like wax paper on the top and then set, um, put like a piece of, use this as a visual. So if this is your ice cube tray in your freezer, put like, I don't know, put like a couple of like letters on top and then you're gonna put the next tray on top. So this way it's kind of pushing it down. Um, and it kind of keeps the letters inside. But you can use like wax paper. So frozen letter rescue too it is always fun. And then kinetic sand. 
So if you don't have kinetic sand, you can do all of this with Play-Doh. Okay. And also too, don't forget to tell us your favorite letter activity in the comments. So this is some blue kinetic sand I just got from like Amazon or Target. I can't remember, but it's just blue kinetic sand. And I love kinetic sand because it's not as messy as sand and it's not as messy as Play-Doh because if it falls, it's kind of clumpy. I mean, it doesn't really, yeah, I'll show you on the table. It doesn't really get like all those little, like, and I'm trying to make a mess here, guys. Like, it's not as messy as Play-Doh, I don't think, anyways. You guys tell me in the comments, what do you think is messier, kinetic sand or Play-Doh? You tell me in the comments. So, I also like it because look, they have to smash it with their fingers. Look at all this great fine motor, smash, smash, smash. Okay. You can also give them tools, like, I thought I had my rolling pin next to me, I don't. So they can use their rolling pin and they can roll it flat. If you don't have rolling pins, just use a cylinder block. Or they can use their fingers. And then what they're going to do is use letter stamps in the Play-Doh. So these are some letter stamps they have. These I think are, these are Lakeshore. So they're just going to stamp the letters and I like to keep these in buckets just because these are kind of obnoxious I think um just kind of store <laughs> so I keep them in little buckets now if you don't have these letter stamps no worries totally fine um I got these letter stamps from like the target dollar spot so these letter stamps work too now you can't see the tiny ones as well you can see them just not as well now, if you also have a letter stamp set like this, these are my favorite. These like regular, they're just kind of like a regular stamp. These are, these are linked in my, my um, Amazon shop. I've had these for a while. You can tell, look at all the kinetic sand like in the tray. <laughs> Um, but they are so much fun to stamp. Now again, you can stamp just the letter and they can say the name. You can stamp the sight word, but look at also all of this. So they're using all these fine motor muscles. They have to push down and it's harder than Play-Doh. So they have to use more of that shoulder muscle and more of that wrist and hand strength to stamp. But let me see if I can show you guys. So you can kind of see those are the like green ones that have kind of the square around them. And then this one is like this stamp. So, we are just stamping some letters. And they can use both hands because their hands are going to get tired. And they can see if they can make it stronger because some kids are going to stamp like this. And they're like, oh, I can't see it. Like, oh, if you need to, you can use two hands. And when they use two hands, you're using these shoulders. Oh my gosh, so Tina just said in the comments her favorite letter thing to play is hot lava with letters on the floor and they jump out and shout the letter. So that is really, really fun. Thank you, Tina, for sharing that letter game with us. And then once they stamp all the letters, they can flip it over, they can mess it up, they can start again. And everybody does need this much kinetic sand. You can also, let me get out a different tray. Hold on one second. So let's say you don't have that much kinetic sand. So maybe everybody only gets like a handful or maybe even less, that's okay. They're still gonna be able, like because everybody usually only gets about this much Play-Doh, right? Like they'll be fine. They don't need like a whole entire tray of kinetic sand. I was just showing you. <laughs> um, but see how it spreads? just as well and look it stamps just as well if they don't have a ton of it actually it stamps a little bit better when it's not as thick so see it and it's so much fun so much fun and you can make sight words you can make their names just put out their like name cards with them again so much fun so another thing you can do with the kinetic sand start over here I'm just going to put out a little bit of more connect, more sand. And again, if you don't have sand, just use Play-Doh. totally works. 
Um, so these trays are from Amazon. I link them in my storefront. So somebody's asking about the music I use for music, um, letter musical chairs. So I just use like Kids Bop. Um, it's just like a, it's basically a kid singing you know, all like the top pop songs and country songs. But, but it's songs they know so they like to sing along. So take your kinetic sand, have them flatten it out. And then what you're gonna do is grab like mini erasers or whatever you have, and then they can make the letter with the, I'm gonna try and just grab all the fruit ones. Mm -hmm. Grab, make their little letter with the mini erasers. Um, again, the, so these mini erasers I actually got from Amazon a little bit ago. Maybe like four months ago. Um, but I don't know if you remember it. Last year I gave away mini erasers for something, like a giveaway. And this is the set I gave, gave away. So you can see they can make the letters in the kinetic sand with the mini erasers. And you can, these are a little bit smaller than the regular mini erasers. Um, but any mini erasers you have will work. Now, if you don't have mini erasers, that's totally fine. Don't use mini erasers. No big deal. You can use pom-poms. You can use little, any little manipulative you have. So I just happen to have these like bones. <laughs> I mean, that's what everybody has laying around in the classroom, right? Just random manipulative. So these are just some little bones I have. I was um, prepping another activity, but you can use anything. This is just like actually table scatter from like Halloween time. So they can use, again, any letter manipulative, or any small manipulative you have to make letters. And they're also strengthening their fine motor muscles as they make these letters. T. And then when they pick them up, they're also using all their fine motor muscles. And then, again, kinetic sand. With Play-Doh, sometimes this stuff sticks to it. This stuff is just like popping off because it doesn't really stick in like Play-Doh would. I have one more set of letter activities for you guys. So we have the letter musical chairs. That one is so much fun. Totally do that one. And then we have the letter rescue where you put the letters in with like, in a basket with like shredded paper and they have to pick the letters out. The last one is ooh, watercolors. So I know everybody, it's like the end of the year, so hopefully we're getting better with all of our art materials. So one thing you can do is like the mystery letter. So they can write letters, or you can, on their paper with white crayon, and then they have to find them. Oh, I used too much paint. <laughs> so, what they do is they take the liquid, wa the watercolor, and then they have to find the letters. So much fun! Great fine motor. So I found a T, a Z, and a W. So again, they can write the letters. You can write them. Again, just a white crayon and some watercolors. Now, another thing you can do. If you don't want to do the white crayons and the watercolors because if if you have little learners for them to write a letter with a white crayon and they can't see where their line ends and the next one begins is a little bit tricky so i love using oil pastels in the classroom and you can see all of mine are broken because broken crayons they can't um, use a fisted grasp with a broken crayon because there's nothing to hold on to so it forces them into using a, um, a pincer grasp or a, a tripod grasp so, and they look gross, but they're fine. So, they can make letters with the oil pastels, or they can make their name, or whatever they want, with the oil pastels. And oil pastels, they write so smooth, and it just like glides on there. You can also have them pick a letter card, and they can write that letter. D. So that way they have to pick a letter, say the name, and then write it. 
And then what I love about oil pastels is it resists um, the watercolor. So you can still see the watercolor over the oil pastel. Or you can see the oil pastel over the watercolor, sorry. I said that backwards. So it's very calming too when you add paint or water. Just adding art just is so soothing, I think, when you add it to your activities. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one with green. And then we'll do, let's see, this one make purple. It's going through my paper. <laughs> you can see through it. So we got a J and an A and a T. But do you see how it, the watercolor resists the oil pastel? So if you have little ones, writing with the white may be frustrating because they can't see where their lines are. But if they write with oil pastels, they can see their lines and then they can paint over them and they'll still see them because the oil pastel or the watercolor won't paint over. You'll be able to see it through. So now I don't know if you knew about this. I didn't know about this until probably about two years ago. Um, Crayola makes neon oil pastels. Like, how much fun is that? So, if you've been using oil pastels all year, try writing them in neon and maybe have them write like the colors of the rainbow. So, A, B, I'm just going to do it fast. C, D, but look how pretty and vibrant these colors are. Okay, I forgot E. <laughs> That's okay, right? <laughs> there are more colors in there. There's like a teal and there's like a couple shades of um, like pinks, but they're so, so pretty. And you can still watercolor over them. So I thought it would be fun to kind of make it like outer space. So you could use black and watercolor over the neon and it could be kind of like outer space. Or just fun, something fun and different to do. You don't have to be doing a space thing and you could just say, okay, we're gonna fly to outer space and I got these neon oil pastels today and we're gonna write our letters and then we're gonna make um, the night sky, maybe you're doing a camping theme. Again, use your imagination, have the students use their imagination. Again, just some fun, different ways to write letters, have fun. You could also just color a picture with oil pastels or the neon oil pastels on black and then paint it with black. So here, so these are the, the neon ones. That's so much fun. So this week, if you need ideas and you need things for your lesson plans, try putting in some of these activities I show you tonight. Show, oh, Heather said it would be fun to use these neon oil pastels for a glow in the dark day or a glow day. That would be so much fun. Or maybe you're having like a PJ day. You guys could turn off the lights or some of the lights and use the neon oil pastels and black watercolor and do that. You could also make um, watercolor paint, like black watercolor paint. Um, if you have um, watercolor paint. <laughs> so yeah, and then so if you need ideas or you need things for your lesson plans next week because your teacher tired or it's the end of the year or you're just, you need some fresh, something fresh and new to keep your kids excited and you excited, try doing one of these things I showed you tonight. So do, oil pastels and watercolors or like the white crayon in the watercolors. Try doing the kinetic sand and stamps or um, the stamps or what did we say? Um, you could also do letter cookie cutters in them or building in the kinetic sand with mini erasers or whatever manipulative you have. You could also try the letter escape with 
whatever you want to put in your basket, bugs or insects or worms or ants if you're doing picnic and put some little letters there and they can bring them out and they can rescue all the letters. Or you can freeze your letters and you can rescue the frozen letters. Or you can do letter musical chairs and they can get up, sing the song or the song can play and they, when the song goes off, they write their letters. So you pick what you want to do next week. I hope you put one of these activities in your lesson plans next week or in the weeks to come because I hope I gave you some inspiration and some ideas just to make your day a little bit better. So if you use any of these activities in your classroom, make sure you tag me or put photos in the Pocket of Preschool Facebook group because I love to see what you guys are doing in your classrooms. So make sure you tag me. Or if you um, post on TikTok, make sure you tag me over there. I'm not posting many videos on TikTok, but I am over there, so I do see them when you tag me. So you guys have an awesome night, and I will talk to you guys soon.